Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be very, very different. I'm going to be chit-chatting with you guys, reintroducing you guys um, to me, who I am, reintroducing myself to you guys, and also sharing, you, sharing with you guys, I can't speak right now, sharing with you guys um, pretty much my journey here on YouTube, how I started, why I started, motivation, and also where I am today. So before we get into that video, if you're new, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, during this video, if you enjoy watching it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on all of my other social media platforms. All right, now we can get to this video. So for those of you who do not know, my name is Rose. Um, it's actually Rose Marie. I just go by Rose and I am 26. I'll be 27 in February. My birthday is February 20th. I'm a Pisces. I am also a single mom. I have one three-year-old little boy. His name is Liam. And I'm born and raised in New Jersey. I am I'm a self-taught makeup artist. Um, I also freelance. I started freelancing about two years ago. Um, always been into art, always been into makeup. I actually was modeling when I was 18. I started modeling um, heavy when I was 18. And from there on, my whole passion and career in makeup started just because I had to learn how to do a lot of different looks on myself because a makeup artist wasn't always present for a fashion show or a photo shoot or whatever the case may be. Um, what else can I say, you guys? <laughs> I'm trying to be as open and transparent as possible. Um, I am the only girl. I have three brothers, two from my dad's side and one from my mom's. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much like basic personal stuff about me, I guess. Oh, also, um, I like to sing. Singing is actually a hobby of mine. Um, so now that we're talking about singing, we can transition that into how I started my YouTube channel and why. So when I first started YouTube, I originally started it as a um, not a makeup page. I first started as a music page. I was in college. I believe I was my first year of college when I first started posting cover videos um, either my first year of college or yeah it has to be my first year of college because my account was created in 2011 and I graduated high school in 2010 so yeah my first year of college um, I was posting um, cover videos I actually went to community college um, SS County College and I went for music and I just wanted to be a singer pretty much like I was just in love with music I tried out for American Idol when I was 16 17 years old didn't make it but it's cool um, I still just love music like music is definitely my first love I would say makeup comes after that so that's pretty much how my channel started and just so y'all know don't go trying to look through my old videos and try singing try to find singing videos because you're not gonna find them I deleted them <laughs> I deleted them um, a long time ago like years 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 ago I deleted them um, but that's just how I started once I was modeling um, I'll say in 2012 13 I stopped actually um, posting videos um, just because I was more so into the modeling stuff um, I was booking photo shoots like every weekend I made sure I had a um, photo shoot I tried to get um, in as many fashion shows as possible rooftop fashion shows in New York um, going to events where I was actually being paid you know to be a host or um, a pretty face you know to hand out flyers or whatever the case was at, at certain events um, or like community events in my area so I was just pretty much working I was always 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 working plus 
you know, still going to school and working a regular job. So I was always busy and I always kept busy. So I wasn't consistent or, you know, trying to upload videos. Um, then it came to a point where I was like, I think the only reason why I like, well, I love, you know, modeling and, and doing these gigs and stuff is the whole makeup part. Just the part where you can actually be creative and, you know, do so much to your face and make a picture look so great. Um, so I was just like, you know what? Let me holla at my best friend and have him teach me some things. Um, my best friend actually does drag. Um, he is a drag artist. So I was just like, okay. He always beat in my face. So he got to teach me something. So anytime he would make do my makeup for a photo shoot or whatever, I would always ask him um, some things. And it was just to a point where he was just like, sis, like, why don't you just go on YouTube and watch makeup tutorials and I'm like makeup tutorials they have makeup tutorials now at that time I was like so far away from YouTube that I didn't realize that music wasn't the popular thing anymore makeup started to become very very popular on YouTube so it came to a point where I was just watching tutorials like literally every night every day like, I would watch tutorials all day if I didn't have work or school. Like, literally just watch tutorials all day. Um, so, I would just practice. I would literally sit, you know, in my room. I had a little dresser, or a little table, um, like, corner table. Whatever I had, I was just sitting down, watching tutorials, and practicing. Um, a few people that I learned so, so, so much in continue to inspire me to this day um patrick star candy johnson um jacqueline hill rosita um applebaum the list goes on like i have so 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 many people um that just inspired me and always kept me going kind of how i grew and once i felt i was good enough i was just like you know what you know i have a youtube channel i had you know I, my channel was all about music but we can transition that we can we can make it into makeup you know but that's when i was like okay we're gonna start doing tutorials um i started to buy a whole bunch of elf stuff wet and wild because obviously i can't afford you know all these big brands and stuff like that that was popping i couldn't afford a mac or anything like that so it was always wet and wild um elf and BH Cosmetics and Coastal Sense. Those were the four brands that I started when doing makeup. And till this day, I still use those brands because those brands have evolved. Like, I was with those brands when they weren't even popular. Like, now they're so, so, so freaking popular. But I was with those brands from day one. Like, literally day one. Die Hard fan. Like, I still use their products to this day. So if you're someone who wants to start into makeup but you can't afford all of these big um expensive products that a lot of these big influencers try out and you know show and reveal try out those brands elf wet and wild Kosu Sense, and bh cosmetics they all have brushes they all have eyeshadow palettes foundations well, Coastal Sense don't have foundations, but matter of fact, they do. They have, like, the little palettes. So they do, yeah. Um, you can find, literally, they, they, all four of them have what you need. Trust me. With $50, you can go a long way with either one of those brands. So, pretty much, yeah, I, I was just, I started doing, you know, looks. I, I would see Patrick Star um, do a look, and I'll recreate it. I see Jacqueline Hill post look and I'll recreate it and then little by little I just started creating you know my own type of looks and started being more creative and trying to like make different looks and yeah I wasn't that great you know I've been doing makeup for eight years um <laughs> eight years of practice eight years of hard work and learning and I ended up having my son and when I had my son I literally 
being a single mom, you guys, it's really, really hard. Um, and for those of you who are single moms, you, I'm sure you understand. Um, but it just was to the point where I was just like, okay, I want to do YouTube. I want to film. I want to um, put out videos and everything like that and show how I've grown as far as, you know, doing makeup and everything. But my main focus was always my son. So it just came to the point I was always tired. You know, I'm working, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And I was just like, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Um, but then, um, when he was about, I think, one, two years old, I started to be a little bit more consistent. Um, posting, posting, posting. And then it was just this past year, um, I would say mid-2017, I said, okay, Rose, guess what? You started freelancing, you've already had a wedding, you had your first wedding, um, you're getting more and more clients, you know, during prom, you know, you have people asking all these questions and wanting to know advice and wanting to learn how to do this and that. Um, so, guess what? You need to buckle down and you need to get back onto YouTube. And for those people who say, hey, how do you do this? How do you do that? You send them to your YouTube page and say, I have a video right on it. You can sit down and you can watch in the comfort of your own home for free, no problems. And I'm sure all of the questions that you have will be answered. And I was just like, okay, we're going to do it. I decided to start investing in a new camera, in new lighting, um, and investing in my kit. So I started to um try out more and more brands um as i started to get a little bit more familiar um i started to um watch other youtubers that i wasn't you know always used to watching so i started watching other youtubers and like i just started to grow pretty much and then um i became consistent i was literally like all right two to three videos a week um, and next thing you know, I started to see a difference. I started to see, first it was like views, like I was just getting views like crazy. I was just like, okay, views, 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 views. Boom, that's good. But I'm getting all these views and no one's really liking, no one's commenting and let me know if they like the video or if I did a good job. So it kind of just like makes you like, oh, uh, like, dang, like nobody really likes it. Like, am I even that good? How I think I'm that good so it was hard it was a little struggle but I said you know what you got to keep going so I started to put myself out there on Facebook um, I had my Instagram um, my first Instagram it which is the one that got hacked I had about 2k um, followers on there who were very active but again it's like no one wants to really support you when you ask them to they just kind of want to sit back and watch and that's just kind of how I felt like the followers that I did have were doing so I was just like whatever like I'm just gonna keep pushing I know I'm good I know I'm great I, I get compliments all the time on my makeup when I have clients they they always leave happy so I know that I'm good at what I'm doing and I know that I am confident in what I'm doing so just me being consistent and me pushing myself is what kind of brought me to where I am at today. Um, whereas now, you know, I've, I've taken classes before. Like I did a class um, with Patrick Starr on Live Glam, say 2016, um, two years ago. Yeah, 2016. And I learned a lot, a lot of tips from him, um, which helped me when I started freelancing. Um, and I got certified with that and now I am taking classes with the P. Louise Academy It's based in the um, UK but the courses are live and I get to study and learn the comfort of my own home and I get to practice on whoever wants to be a model so it's just like since I kept pushing myself since I kept being consistent I'm not only just getting those views anymore like 
yeah, the algorithm has changed on social media, you know, YouTube, it's, you know, now you have all these rules to get monetized and everything like that. But I feel like it kind of motivates, that's what, you know, also motivates me because it's making me more hungry and making me see that if I work harder, if I push myself to those limits to try new things, to be more creative, to step out of my comfort zone, you know, get into these trends that people are doing, um, you know, try to put different things on my channel and see what people really, really like. Like, I'm paying attention on what people want to see from me rather than trying to copy what these big influencers are doing. Um, now, I am almost at my goal of 300 subscribers here on YouTube, so if you're not ready to subscribe, you already know, hit that subscribe button. Um, and I started a new Instagram page about a few months ago, I think it was in like July. Yeah, so about two, two, three months ago, um, I started a new Instagram page and I'm already almost at 700 followers. Like crazy and a lot of it is because one I put myself out there one I began begin to be more creative um, and me taking the classes with P. Louise and her really wanting to help and support you know her customers her students and just people in the beauty community period who are really really talented and really just love makeup and she really does go above and beyond to help and you know make sure that everyone is supporting each other so you know those girls from my classes are helping me and supporting me and just as I'm doing it to them and helping them and supporting them in their journey so that is kind of another you know another thing that has helped me on social media and here on YouTube. The thing that I'm just so so excited about is that um, I finally got accepted to my first, literally you guys, my first big brand affiliate program. If you guys don't know who Gerard Cosmetic is, it's an amazing amazing um, cosmetic line. They first started off as Whitening Lightning. I'm sure you guys probably heard of that brand. Um, the owner CEO Jen, she first started off as Whitening Lightning and then created Gerard Cosmetics and kind of, you know, meshed those two. And she's been in the business for a really, 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 really long time. And recently, you know, she put out a video um, talking about the beauty community, how it is and stuff like that, and her take on everything and her stand. And she really just wants to help smaller creators who are really really just truly in love with makeup and um want to help them grow i got accepted and it's it's an amazing thing like she's just such a sweetheart and you can tell that she's such like she's just so 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 helpful you know she's reposted me on her stories a few times um you know the brands just you know the team they're so nice. Yeah, I get responses from them all the time. You know, if I post anything, they're liking it or they're commenting on it. And it's just amazing. Like, it's amazing when you actually really do get notice from a brand. Um, and not only that, but the other women and men, you know, that is a part of the affiliate group, you know, the small creators. They're also just so nice and beautiful and talented and because of them I'm also growing and flourishing on social media and here on YouTube. So I feel like since I've pushed myself and became more and more determined to just connect with other people, like for me YouTube isn't about getting on PR list. Like my dream and goal is to have my own beauty bar one day 
run my own business and then eventually create my own cosmetic line that's what I want to do that's my goal and and I do see um, a lot of youtubers that do it you know they they take what they learn from YouTube from you know brand deals and you know going to headquarters and certain brands and looking at how they make makeup and just learning from them and you know saying bump it this is what I want to do I'm gonna make my dream come true and they end up making their own cosmetic line that that's amazing you know they took whatever they can gather from YouTube whatever money they got from YouTube and they put it into a business that's what I want to do I don't want to just sit down at home you know saying okay today I need to film three four videos and do this and do that no like I have a child and I want to make sure that my son will benefit from what I'm doing in the long run now in YouTube like I do reach out to brands and I just I only reach out to brands that I truly genuinely love and use I don't reach out to any brands that I've never tried before that I don't like I'm not the type of person that just wants free stuff like that's just not me not me at all so yeah like that's just kind of where I'm at now that's a little backstory of um, you know my journey here on YouTube and where I'm at now and my whole mindset of, of everything and one thing I could say um, if you are someone who wants to start a YouTube channel do it for the right reasons like yeah there's a lot of people on here that you know they can make money off of it I know some people who think oh yeah like I'm gonna do a YouTube channel so I could be just like this person and be rich no that person works so hard and bust their ass to get to where they are like I want everyone to and I feel like this is what um, a lot of the big influencers should always share and let their followers know because I know there's a few um, influencers have who have made videos talking about how to you know start a YouTube channel and things that you should do and stuff like that my opinion me being a small creator and have been doing this for so many years don't do YouTube if you think you're just gonna get money or free shit from brands don't because it's not gonna happen do it because it's what you want to do to showcase your talent, your art, whatever the case it is. If you're someone who's a techie, you like building stuff, whatever it is, you know, do YouTube because of that. Don't do YouTube because you want to get sponsored by somebody or you want to make money or you want this or you want that. Because if you do it for the wrong reasons, guess what? You're not going to grow and you're not going to get any of those things that you think you're going to get. Um, and if you are going to do it for the right reasons, stay true to who you are. That's definitely for one. Um, don't give up. Because if you give up, then you invested in time, money, energy, um, a, a social space for nothing. Um, just have patience. And the growth because it's not always easy um, yes it is harder now to get noticed but if you take your time if you be patient if you stay true to who you are and you keep posting and posting and posting and posting trust me someone's gonna notice you that's what I did kept posting 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 Jen opened her affiliate program I applied she noticed me and voila you know and there's times where i post 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 i tweet pictures i post pictures on um on instagram and i have brands liking my stuff and i feel like oh i'd be so super i'd be so happy because all it took was for me to actually keep on posting keep on sharing my work and eventually someone's gonna notice so that's pretty much it I'm gonna end the video here. Um, I hope any advice that I gave you um, helps and I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope that now we're closer. You know, we're closer because you guys got to know me a little bit more. 
um, you know, give you guys a little insight on my personal stuff and also give you guys an insight on my journey here on YouTube. And I hope that you guys stick around and keep following me and keep supporting me. And always know one thing, those people who support me, I support you too. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. Remember, subscribe, like, and follow me on all of my social media platforms. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.